Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Jamie B. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to be reviewing the new Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day bundle. I'm going to be doing this look also. So we're going to do a look slash first impression slash review slash whatever else you want to call it. So I did pay $195 for the bundle, guys. I will go piece by piece and let you know the prices as always. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look, seeing what I think about the products, then just make sure you stick around. But before you do that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the video for me and the bell next to it so you can be instantly notified notified when I upload my videos. Become part of the hive. We have a lot of fun here, guys. I upload a ton of videos three days a week at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'll go ahead and put it right down here at the bottom of the screen. I do makeup tutorials, product reviews, hauls, fun challenges, and all of that good stuff. You don't want to miss it. So let's get into this video. All right, guys, so I zoomed you on in so you can take a closer look as to what I am doing. But before we get started with the look slash review slash first impressions, I want to make mention of two things. One, I am doing a huge Kylie Cosmetics 750 subscriber giveaway, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description. You can click that link, watch that video, and find out how to enter the giveaway. Also, the second thing I want to mention, I'll also link it down in the description box for you guys, is I teamed up with Audible to give you guys a 30-day free trial um, of their uh, website, and I think they have an app too. I use it on the website. I like to read, but I just I don't have time. I'm so busy, 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 and I know we're all super busy all the time. Like, that's just how our society is. We're going, going, going. But I did team up with them to give all of you guys a 30-day free trial. You just link, you click the link below, and you sign up with it, and it is free for 30 days. If you do not like it, you can always cancel at any time within that 30 days, and you won't be charged. I like to listen to it in the car on my way to and from work. I also listen to it at work and my headphones while I'm doing my paperwork and stuff like that. They have tons and tons of books to listen to, and I really, really enjoy it, guys. So make sure you just click it and check it out. All right, guys, so let's get Get started on this look um, I am going to be doing because this is a Valentine's Day collection I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look I have my red on it's almost Valentine's Day so I thought I'd just put it all together for you guys and do that the entire bundle was $195 total and as always I will put the price of each item right here next to me so you guys can check it out so the first thing we're gonna work with is the pressed powder palette it has a lot of pigment so it can can't be called an eyeshadow palette it does come with 12 eyeshadows all right so this is the packaging it is that matte with the shiny Kylie across it as usual but it is a very pretty pink it does come with a very long mirror in here so here is the inside of the palette and it is beautiful I have swatched this palette the shimmers are okay they're not they lack a little luster for me. They're not as crazy as I thought they were going to be. But these mattes, oh my god, I swatched them and they were phenomenal. So hopefully on my eye, they will also be phenomenal. Okay, so the first color I am going to go into is going to be this one right here. Oh, the colors are on the front too. I just noticed that actually. I've swatched this and played with it and I just noticed they're on the front. So I will not have to decipher the code. I'll be able to tell you exactly what colors I'm using. All right, so I'm going to go in with Princess as my first transition color. And I'm going to place that here and work it up. They seem to be pretty blendable. Like I'm not having any issues. It's not pooling a lot. So I'm just setting this color in here like this. Now I'm going to go into the crease with my Marc Jacobs crease brush. And I'm going to pick up some of that February color, which is just a pale pink. There is a lot of kickback in the pan. I have noticed that even with swatching. So just be mindful of that. If you do buy it, you're going to get a little bit of kickback. But they are very pigmented. And they go on like a freaking dream. So just making sure I blend that pink into that transition. And I'm going to go back in with my Morphe 513 and just kind of put that princess color back in there. What this does also is it makes it like just seamless. 
so it looks like it's just so perfectly smooth and blended because I will tell you no hate no nothing I cannot stand when I see eyeshadow that is not blended properly all right so I do think I'm gonna go in for more of a subtle look because I do have to run some errands after this so I don't want to go too crazy I think I'm gonna go in with next is gonna be first date which is it's almost like a reddish but it has a little bit lighter pink maybe added to it it's not red like this it's it's more of like a definitely pink red but it's super pretty and I'm gonna place that from my crease down to my lid because I'm going to be using something else to give it a pop of shimmer. All right, so I am going to be using Morphe M433 and I'm going to go into first date, which again, it does have quite a bit of fallout. I don't know if you can see that, but that happens with like reds and pinks. And just a heads up, um, the pink and the red did stain my arm after wiping it off. But again, that's very normal with very pigmented colors like this, especially reds, pinks, and purples. So I'm starting with the outer corner and I'm just kind of blending it on here. So it comes out fairly pink actually on the eye. I figured it would, it would and it wouldn't come out so red. So I am just covering the whole lid right now. So now that I have the lid covered, I'm going to bring it up just a little to kind of give it like a smokier look. See? And again, don't worry about that mess. We clean that up when we do our face makeup. Okay, so now that I have that darker color down, I'm going to go again with my Marc Jacobs brush and February and just kind of lighten the edges here and bring that light pink back to life. And that one's going all the way over here. And all the way out here and just kind of shimmy it through so oh yes these mattes though like they blend so well and they're so freaking pigmented and then whenever I do a smoky eye which is obviously most of the time because I have very hooded eyes I bring my color up so much more than a lot of people just so you can see like every bit of that look that I'm doing and just it's it just gives it more Oomph, if you know what I mean. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with my MAC 233 with that same first date color, just to pack it on the lid. Just a bit more, because the blending brush is not gonna give it the pigment that it needs or that it deserves. But I needed to blend it up to the crease first and then worry about packing on color. So these mattes, like I said, these are really freaking pigmented. Like for the colors that they are, it's really hard to get these pinks and reds to be so pigmented. So I think she did a freaking fantastic job with the mattes. So I'm gonna take that same one. I'm not gonna put any extra on. I'm gonna kind of tap it. This is the 433 with that pink red on it. And I'm just gonna kind of blend in the crease since I put that color there so it's not a harsh line. And if you guys want to start seeing more like glam looks, I can do those. But I try to make the looks that I do a little bit more, not simple or basic, but kind of basic or easy to moderately more um, hard to do. Just because not everybody, one, has the time to sit here and like cut their crease and draw six wings on their eyes and and quite frankly not everyone knows how to do it and no matter how many times I do it on camera you are not going to get how to do it it's not really hey this is how you do it it's technique it's art it's creativity for instance you know I would love to know how to paint beautiful pictures and I'm pretty sure if I sat here on YouTube and I watched a bunch of Bob Ross paintings my paintings will still not turn out well until I continue and to continue and continue to practice. So that's what I encourage you guys to do, you know, take these videos, watch them, watch them, watch them, watch them, do the tutorials and it's not going to turn out well at first. Do it again and it's not going to turn out well. Do it again, it's going to turn out okay. Do it again, it's going to turn out great. So just remember that guys, that it takes a lot of practice and a lot of hard work 
and you really just have to keep trying don't give up on it don't be like this doesn't look like that and just always remember that we're all different so we have all different eye shapes all different space so what looks like this on me may look completely different on you so I just wanted to add that in there a little bit of encouragement that you know I try to make it so you guys these looks are achievable or attainable by everyday normal people and not just makeup artists or um, beauty gurus. So <clears throat> I am going to take this pixie brush. It is the E01. I got it with my first ever PR boxing. I'll go ahead and link it above. Pixie sent me some pretty things. And I'm going to take the heartthrob shimmer and I'm just going to line my brow bone with that. So that is going to be it for the look here, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add she came with came out with in the bundle is the roses are red and this is her glitter eyes so this by the way is like the cute freaking packaging ever let me comment below if you guys buy stuff simply because of the packaging like I need to know I'm not alone in this world <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do actually before we move on to the next step of putting the glitter eyes on is I'm gonna go over and swatch and kind of brush swatch some of these colors um, that I didn't use. So for the mattes, I didn't use pink problems. <sighs> See a lot of fallout. I didn't use candy heart and I didn't use admirer. So those are the three. Very beautiful. This one. Oh, she went all the way in. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my arm for you. So this one is pink problems and then we have candy heart and then we have admirer so there are the swatches for you guys these are so beautiful the mats like I'm not even kidding she went all the way when she did the mats I freaking love them like they blend well they're not patchy and they're just stunning colors like they're colors that you always use and I also like the hot pink like yes it's so pretty and so blendable and I'm so excited so let's go into these shimmers since I will not be really using them so I have heartthrob blush be mine so here they are the first three so you have heartthrob blush be mine see they're okay I just feel like they really just lack I don't know her shimmers are always so bomb and then we have three more So, right here, and then we have Romance, Kinda Classy, and Love Bug. I think they're very, ooh, this one is really pretty. Let me get a little bit closer, get all my arm up in your face. It's like almost duochrome, so it looks like a bronzy color, like a bronzy orange, but when you move it, it has like a red-pink reflex in it. I think that they're beautiful colors when it comes down to it, but I feel like, oh, my arm is like, meh, but I just wish that like they would have been more. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to pull a shimmer out from the Jordan palette, just one of them. Like you can feel the texture, like the difference in the texture of these shimmers in the Valentine's versus her other one. So let me just put this one here. Look at that. Look at the difference. Like these are just very light shimmers where that one is very stunning. So I feel like she definitely could have gone more and like just made this like just so much more like her other shimmers because her shimmers are literally like my favorite formula shimmers. So I think the colors are pretty. Um, I think that they'll make like a good topper because that's kind of what I feel like they are. Like they're a topper. They're not pigmented enough. The formula isn't thick enough to make it like a look on the eye. I mean, if you want to see a look using a, some of the shimmers, go ahead and leave me a comment below and I'll make sure I get that to you guys. But I feel like they're more of like a topper glittery thing. They're just not very pigmented. Look at the difference in that. Like, that's just crazy. So I am going to be going in with Glitter Eyes, and I'm going to pop it in the center of my eye, almost like a halo. And this is Roses Are Red, 
and I'll go ahead and do a swatch roo on my hand. It's an ugly swatch, but this is so pretty. Now that is a woo lining shimmer. So I'm going to take the little doe foot here and just go right in the center. And I want to kind of just make sure that I'm not... I have hooded eyes, so when you have hooded eyes and you're doing something like this, you really have to try to keep your eye open until it dries or it's going to smear. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, but I am not perfect. I do not have perfect eyes. I would definitely say, and I'll put the price for this over here, this is really nice. Um, it seems really thin on your hand, but it's definitely a buildable product. So again, I just, I really think that it's a very beautiful formula and I like it. It's very shimmery. You could probably put it on the inner corner here if you wanted to. So we're going to go back into the palette so I can kind of blend that out. So what I like to do when I'm blending out like around the edges of something is use the Morphe E26 and this is basically, it's just like a very soft, almost like pencil slash crease brush. So I'm going to go back into that first date color. And I'm literally going to just go around the edges. And when you're doing this, just kind of like swipe in motion. Never like this, always out. And then go up here and just kind of blend out that top. All right, so I think I am actually going to go in with some kind of packing brush and put this Be Mine on here to give it more of a pink look. So this is from B Delium, Delumium Tools. I don't know. It's just one that I picked up at IMATS one year. Alright, so I'm going into the Be Mine color, which is right here. And I'm just going to pack that on top. So that way this is more of a pinky. Because that one kind of like, the glitter eyes almost comes off more silver than it did pink on my eyes. So, so I'm having quite a bit of, um, a tough time kind of blending this out. Um... So if you get the glitter eyes and you use it, just make sure you blend it immediately because the problem is once it dries, girl, that's that. Like, it is done. It's not letting me move it. It's not letting me blend it. So that's going to give me a little bit of trouble. It's going to look way more sharp than I want it to, but I really don't want to go back in with more to make it stand out way too much. So it's fine. So what I'm all, what I'm noticing also by doing this is this glitter eyes kind of, do you see that? It's flaking off when I was blending my brush. So yeah. Okay, this may not be as good as I thought it was. Let me try to see if I can go back in and really not like layer too much, but bring that back a little so when you're blending just be mindful because when it dries it gets flaky all right so I think that's all I am doing for this part so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my face on and I will be right back all right guys so I went ahead and I put my face on and my lashes I did not put any blush on because I am going to be using her new blush in the color crush it comes in the same packaging that the new blushes come in. I did do a review on the entire bundle of the new face products. I'll go ahead and link that above. So here's the color of the blush. It is just like a light pink peachy color. And I'm going in with this Wet n Wild face brush and just caking my face with it. So now that I did the blush and guys, I mean, it's the same formula as the other one. I really, really like it. It's not patchy. It's very pretty on the skin. Um, I don't know if this color is going to do really well for too dark of a skin tone, but um, for me, it, it does fine. So if you have a darker skin tone than me, probably not because it's just showing up on my skin tone. So before we go any further, and I didn't put highlighter on either because I had to put my blush on, <laughs> but before we go any further, I do want to go ahead under the eye and get that color in there. So I'm again going to go with first date and I'm going to line the under a lot, under eye like the, I'm not making it perfect because I'm going to take that other color and just smoke it out. All right, so I'm going to go into Princess, and I'm just going to smoke that out right under there. Right. 
So that is it for the eyes. I now have to go in with my mascara for my lower lash. I'm going to do that off the screen. All right, so I went ahead and I added my lower lash line mascara on. I am going in with Princess Please with her new highlighters. Again, I did a whole review on these, but I wanted to stick with like that pink theme. But this one kind of comes off like almost silver on my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on the tips of the cheeks. Oh, yeah. And then the nose. And then up the nose just a little. Mm. Like this looks turned out really, really good. I'm really excited. I am here for that bright ass pink on my eyes. All right, so the last thing that I am going to do is I did get the three lip kits that I'm super freaking excited about. And so this one is the, and it's cute because you can buy it and do to and from. So this is the Soulmate set. Each one comes with a matte liquid lip, a lip liner, and a gloss. So I'm really excited. And these are freaking stunning. I am going to be actually using this one because I think that it will go best with it. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this one, which is called Bow. <laughs> So I do have to overline my lips just a tad on certain parts of it because I do, my lips are not completely even, but we're going to go in with the color Call Me in the liquid lip. And I'm super excited for this. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh, I love this color. So this is like just a traditional just red uh it's very warm tone and the matte liquid lipsticks as usual are what they are i do not like putting gloss over my matte lipstick i'm not going to do that but i will go ahead and swatch it this one is in the blow me away color and it's just like it has gold and pink reflex in it but it's really pretty and it smells really good so you get like this cute little bottle and then a really big doe foot and I'll go ahead and put that there for you. So I am going to swatch the other ones since obviously I'm not going to put them on my lips. So this one is the Forever Set. And it comes with, like I said, the same ones. So this lip liner is in the shade Forever and Always. And they come in these cute little pink boxes and packaging i love it and then the liquid lip with this one is built to last in matte it is a nude definitely with some pink undertones so so there are those this is the liner this is the lipstick it's a very pretty combination and then with this set you get then with this set you get a gold gloss with pink reflex in it Oh, yes. Okay. I'm here for it. So you can't really tell like on screen what gloss is, but it definitely has pink reflex in it. It's not too thick, I don't think. And when I wore it the other day, it wasn't really sticky. And when it faded off, it wasn't like um, some of them I'll get where the gloss part will fade off and then it's just glitter. It doesn't do that to me. So then the third and final set is the love set. So this one is you are a gem lip liner. And this is gonna be more pink, where you have the red, like I have one, then you have the light nude pink. This is gonna be just a traditional pink. Ooh, these are so pretty, and they're all in matte. This one is called Wish You Were Here. And then the last lip gloss is Sweet, and this is a high gloss is what they're called. And this one is a pink gloss with some gold shimmers in it. Again, I do really, really like the formulas of the glosses. I love them. 
I love glosses, but these are the other two sets. I think these are phenomenal. If you're gonna get a gift for like your sister, your girlfriend, whatever, um, these are really, really good to do because it gives them everything that they would need to achieve a very beautiful lip look. So I would definitely say that those would be a go-to thing for me if I were just getting something out of the bundle. So this is the look I created for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm really excited. I love the palette. I do wish the shimmers were just a little bit more bright. Um, but other than that, the only problem I had with the glitter eyes is that it kind of gets flaky. So once you put it on, blend it quick and be done with it because the moment you try to blend it, it's going to flake off. I love the palette. I love the lips because I am a big fan of her liquid lips. And the blush is okay, but again, it's kind of light, so it won't really be universal for everybody. Um, I wish they would have put maybe a darker one or even a highlighter in there would have been bomb. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked the review, first impression look that I did. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!